Here's the number one biggest secret to Facebook ads to sell your music as a musician, as an artist, as a creative. Let's do this. Don't miss this because Facebook called me the other day and it was really interesting. Let's go. I spent the last 14 years playing over a thousand shows, touring 22 different countries and become a top 40 billboard charting artist. I fired my record label to go out on my own as an independent artist to market and release my own music, selling thousands of albums and millions of streams. The question I always get is, how did I do it without a label and sell even more music? This podcast is here to show you the way. Join me and follow along as I learn, apply and share marketing strategies to grow my music business in a loyal fan base. So hey, what's going on guys? Just going for my walk here like I normally do. Getting that exercise in. Sun is shining. I'm feeling good. I hope you're feeling good. You know, healthy body, healthy mind. All right. You want to keep creative. You want to keep the, you know, work flowing. Don't think that you can cheat your body. You know, you need to get out there. Get the sun. If you don't got sun, at least get exercise or take a multivitamin or something like that. But that's not what this podcast is focused on. This is focused on you growing your fan base and monetizing your music and having a career in music. And I was watching the movie Social Network last night. Okay, it's one of my favorite movies. I watch it with my wife all the time. We just like it. It's just inspiring to me. I love how the fact that like they create something out of nothing and just the whole kind of like not rags to riches, but like the underdog creating something and just... I don't know, taking a risk. And I love the part where they finally get that angel investor of $500,000 to grow their business and take it to that next level. And that just always excites me and just turns me on because it just makes me think like, I want to go all in on my business. I want to spend more on marketing my music and getting it out there. And honestly, these tools with Facebook ads and just so much more stuff is just so powerful. And it just makes me think, okay, Chris, just go all in even more. Like, like because the ROI is just is just bananas. It just works. Like I'm still selling so many CDs a day. I'm getting my music out there to so many fans. You know, I'm using it right now to sell CDs, to promote my Kickstarter, to you know, and I'm just blown away. And I was literally um, promoting my Kickstarter today, and the phone rang, and it said it was from Palo Alto, uh, California. And I normally don't answer numbers I don't know, but I was like Palo Alto. I'm like, that's, that's where Facebook is because I was just watched the movie last night. And so I answered, I go, Hey, this is Chris. And, uh, she's like, Hey, it's, um, your rep from Facebook. Just want to check in on you. And I was like, Hey, what's up? And, uh, I was like, I just saw the movie last night, Facebook, and now you're calling. And it's just so funny. And so anyways, we chatted about you know, Facebook ads and what I can do to continue to market and sell more music. And there's this thing called CPA. Okay. And it it stands for cost per acquisition. In my case, it's the cost per acquisition, like to get the acquisition of a customer, a sale. Right. And for me, it's selling a CD to a, to a fan. It doesn't include the upsells, but just, just the CD itself. I don't track, um, whether they bought more stuff specifically on that ad. But the point is I was getting sales for like seven bucks and the average cost for someone to how much they spend is like 10 to 14. Uh, Lifetime is like, geez, it's a lot higher than that. And so anyways, it was working. She's like, hey, you know, um, you know, ads tend to go up near the end of the year for the fourth quarter because everybody's got to spend their marketing budgets. And so just wanted to see if you had any ideas and strategies of what you wanted to do to, you know, finish out this year strong. And I was like, yeah, I want to do this. And so we just chatted for a while about different strategies and different targeting and um, uh, getting like a vertical video for one of my music videos because right now it was only horizontal and sometimes when you have a a vertical it just looks a lot better for when people are on their phones and uh, could just potentially get better conversions and so I definitely got to um, do some stuff like that and all these strategies everything that I'm doing um is in my Facebook ads for music course. And that's free when you join Fanbase University, okay? Um, and then if you get stuck, guess what? When you're going through the course and you're like, hey, I need to ask Chris some questions, you come on the coaching call. You come on the coaching call and um, you just ask questions. And we just had a coaching call yesterday. It was awesome. We went for about 70 minutes, just a little over an hour, and just answered your questions. We were in the ads manager. I was showing you YouTube ads. We, I was critiquing ads. Um, we were talking about merch. We were talking about Kickstarters and because you guys are going to be getting my template for free. Um, as soon as my Kickstarter is done, I'm going <clears> to <throat> upload the new course 
and show you exactly how to use my template. So you're going to get that for free. And so just go to fanbaseuniversity.com and uh, become a member, man. And uh, come hanging out with us and uh, just let me coach you twice a month. And then you get all the courses, all the stuff I ever talk about, all the advanced strategies are in the, the, the members area. All the courses you could possibly want and watch and then do. Watch and then do. Watch and then do. And it's funny, you know. I, I, this lady emailed me the other day and I'm not going to obviously say her name, but she's an artist and she's a singer songwriter. And she's like, it's not clear what you get in fan base university. It's not clear. I don't buy from people that aren't clear. And it was just like, so bummed me out that she's just like so closed minded and won't try. It's like, dude, did you even go watch the video on fan base university? It explains what it is. Did you watch any of the testimonial videos? Hey, maybe go listen to my podcast or watch a bunch of the free videos on YouTube and get to know me, you know, as opposed to like, um, just emailing people like that so harshly. Cause I even responded to her on one of them and just was like, Hey, well, this is, this is what we do. And this is what it's about. And it just makes me think like, like, like you, how are you going to respond in real life when you try and grow your music career? Because let me tell you, for those that are listening right now, that, you know, when you start to blow up and get bigger, you better have some good communication skills. You can't be freaking out on people. You can't be just ragging and blowing up and just, you know, saying, talking to people all rudely and stuff like that. That just does not fly. And I just don't even know how, how you live like that, like all, like, tense and angry and stuff like that. Like, like that's just not a way to live. I was listening to the book, um, uh, power of positive thinking. I have it on audible and I listen to that book all the time because he just talks about just, you know, getting into that slow mo and just, just peace, man, because like your blood pressure literally goes up a few points when you get really angry and intense. And there's people that have literally died from heart attacks because they don't learn to practice or to, they don't learn to, 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 to stop from being angry. They practice anger. Okay, just how you can practice peace, you can practice calmness. There's people that practice getting angry and blowing up and freaking out. And if that's you, I encourage you, man. Next time you're about to blow up, just like count to three, man. Just get calm and don't say anything. Shut your mouth. Go for a walk. Go for a run. Go hit a punching bag if you have to. But don't let your your, your blood boil like that and, and just launch out on people. Because you know what? Um, I forget, it's in my book Fighter, but I have a, there's a quote I say is that like, you know, when you open your mouth, you tell the world what you're about. I love how there's a motorcycle just driving right beside me. Um, you know, when you open your mouth, that's how the world knows you, you know? And so you just want to walk in love. You want to walk in peace. You know, we already have enough challenges trying to get our music out there and just being ourselves and being willing to put ourselves out there for critique. We don't need to be angry all the time and blowing up. And so I just speak peace over you right now. I just speak rest, calmness. I don't know what you're going through, but I just encourage you just to keep fighting. Don't give up. Maybe you got some bad news about something, but you know what? Push through it. All right, just push through it. Keep fighting. And um, just know that there's a, there, there's brighter days ahead as long as you don't quit. All right. And so, hey, I hope you'll join us on the next member call. If you are not running Facebook ads for your music career, what are you doing? And like I said on the call, yes, you want to get page likes. That's helpful at the beginning. You want to get page likes for that social proof. And I talk about that in Facebook Accelerator. That's in Fanbase University too. Basically shows you how to get 10,000 likes um, in under 10 days for about a hundred bucks. Okay. And um, that just gets your likes up. It gets you introduced to the ads manager. And then we don't want just likes anymore. We want to go after sales. Okay. We want to go after purchases. We want to get some ROI going back from our music while we're, exp- while we're getting exposure and just building a fan base. Okay. But you want to be building that email list and all that stuff. I was saying how, you know, having my email list has been like the most valuable thing, um, for promoting this Kickstarter. Okay. Having an email list of buyers, people that have bought from me already. What a powerful thing. I can't even begin to explain how awesome that has been. And so I just encourage you, um, get in there, learn this stuff, whether you learn from me or not, open up Facebook, go to facebook.com slash ads manager and get your hands dirty in that stuff and learn some stuff. Um, 
you'll just be blown away by what's possible and how to get your music out there. You don't have to wait for a label. You don't have to wait for, you know, somebody to find you. You can go get found by, by promoting yourself. So anyways, I want to remind you that a fighter isn't someone who never fails. A fighter is someone who never quits. Hope I'll see you on the next Fan Base University call. Peace. So if you're a struggling artist and you're just trying to figure out this music industry, you want to go full time with your music, you want to get noticed on social media or learn how to launch an album, an EP, or just get your music more marketed out there, I want to encourage you to check out my coaching program called Fan Base University. Every single month, I jump on the phone two times with my students and I coach them and I teach them how to market their music, how to get noticed, how to handle booking agents, record labels, and just get their music out there. Also, you get access to exclusive training, you get in interviews with music industry professionals. If you want to find out more and not do this on your own, not struggle because I've wasted thousands of dollars on my career and I, now I want to coach other artists. Check out my program, FanBaseUniversity.com or click the link below to find out more info.